what's up guys sneeze here i thought i'd do a booster pack opening uh there is a reason why i have three booster packs here uh it's because i'm trying to practice how to draft now i've never gone to a friday night magic and draft uh but i'll just fill you in on what it means to the people that don't really uh know that much about magic uh, what happens is you go to your local card shop and you say, hey, I want to I want to do the draft, you know, enter me in the draft. So you sit down at a table with seven other people. So there's eight total. Uh, and from what I've uh, researched, you start off with three packs. So you pick a pack and you go from there. So let's go ahead and pick this pack and we'll go from there. So this is where draft comes into play. Wow, this is okay. <laughs> I have to use my muscles. Okay, okay. There we go. Let's get started on this one. Oh, oh man. Open. Try not to show the last card because the last card is uh, the rare. So uh, this is this is my starting. Okay, I forgot about the camera. I don't have the easy life. <laughs> I do not have the easy life with this camera. All right, so we start off with a green. Uh, troll hide uh, this is okay but do I want to build my deck and that's the ultimate goal is you want to build a deck out of all these cards so there's a troll hide so we could go with that we could go with the uh, caption my pronunciation of these cards is just atrocious I apologize <laughs> But not bad, you know, a 1-1 one, one first strike. Uh, and you could pump this pump this bad boy up. So that's an option right there. I take that over the troll hide. We have the corpse uh, holler. All right, back in focus. Awesome, awesome. We have the show of valor. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Target creature gets plus two, plus four until the end of turn. That's a really good pump up right there. Siege Mastodon. That's that's too that's too high of mana right there. Too high of a mana card right there. And there is a reason why you want to stay away from high mana cards is because when you're doing these, so we've already established that every booster pack has 15 cards. So you have three three booster packs. So that's 45. So when it comes to the end come on focus please i wish i had the easy life where this camera could just be cool <laughs> but it doesn't want to so anyways uh you have at the at the end of drafting you have to cut the fat you have to have 40 cards so this is the train condor so having high mana cost cards uh will hurt you in the long run alters reap dragon hatchling you could really pump this bad boy up too uh, hive string strings stirrings hive stirrings yes i do know how to read <laughs> uh put two one one colorless sliver creature tokens onto the battlefield that's always an option Advocate, advocate of the beast. That's not bad. Vampire warlord is my first uncommon. Yeah, first uncommon right here. Sarah Angel, flying vigilance. Wow. So if I were to pick right now, this is the card that I want to build my deck around. So, yeah. 
we're gonna put this one to the side because I already know staff of the Sun Magus and my rare is witch stalker this is uh, it costs three three mana out of those three mana two have to be forest mana it has hex proof and whenever an opponent cast a blue or black spell during your turn put a 1 1 counter on witch stalker we have a swamp and we have uh, this useless card right here so let's take a look at the Sarah angel and the witch stalker so right now uh, the people I'm going up against uh, they opened up their packs and they're making their they're thinking about what they're gonna pick also so I have a decision right here do I go with the Sarah angel or do I go with the <laughs> this camera <laughs> this camera hates me so much camera please please okay camera camera's gonna take a break right now <laughs> camera's gonna take a break right now okay so we have the sarah angel and we have the witch stalker okay so let's take a quick look at uh the cards that we drafted Okay, so we have one colorless artifact. So with the colorless, you can use any type of mana to uh, bring this into play. Black, we don't care about. Green, we do not we do care about because of the Witch Stalker. So there's that. Uh, we have one white. Throw the red away. Throw the black away. Throw the blue away. Throw. Okay, and we keep the white. And we throw the black away. We keep the white. And we keep the green. So... I have in total three green cards in this deck and I have five white cards in this deck so with my thought process I think I'm gonna go with the white but I'm not too sure you know uh, because I've never done this before so odds are saying that I should pick the Sarah Angel you know um, but I've heard stories of people, they, they do the drafts and they only pick the rares. <laughs> they don't care about anything else. They just pick the rares just because it's the rare and they don't want to, they don't want to give it to the next person. So right now, if I were to choose, I would choose the Sarah Angel to be completely honest. I mean, it's a five drop, uh, three colorless and two white and it has flying and it has vigilance and it's a four, four. And what happens is, okay, so I pick the Sarah Angel. I take all these cards that were in my deck. I need to get a magic uh, mat, don't I? I need to get a mat. We actually, we shuffle it. Because we don't want to give any tells. If any of you play poker, you know what a tell is. You shuffle it and you pass it to the left. You pass it to the left and it makes its way around the table uh, just like that. So you pass it to the left and the person to your left looks at the cards. And based off of the card that they picked... Uh, they they do their draft based off of that card. So if they picked uh, they picked this card right here, they picked the Witch Stalker uh, in the pack that they opened. They would go to this deck and they would say, "Oh, nice, nice, another Witch Stalker," you know. And they would add that to the collection. They would shuffle it and they would pass it to the left, and it just keeps doing that until all the cards are run out. So, uh, because I don't have seven other people, because <laughs> I don't have seven other people, you know, uh, I would hope, I would hope that in the packs I would get, you know, another white creature, I would get another, another one of that. So I hope you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to say there. Uh, so, uh, there's my... 
And I'm not too sure because in Magic, they have so many terms. So I don't know if this is called like a commander. And it, if you have a commander in the draft mode. So I'm not too sure because there's there's like so many terms. There's something called like EDH. There's things called like standard and legacy. And I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know the playing style, but we're going to go with that. The Sarah Angel. So we open up the second pack. Throw that away. Fog. So let's say, uh, yeah. So let's say I have the Sarah Angel and I want to continue, continue uh, building my deck around the Sarah Angel. So I'm looking for uh, white, white cards. So there's the uh, fog right there. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to you this turn. That would be dealt this turn. Focus. Focus. Seismic Stomp. Festering Newt. Divination. Uh... Regaithan Firecat Regaithan I think that's how it's pronounced Yay Five hours later you want to focus Awesome Message Drake Messenger Drake Oh that's not bad Flying When Messenger Drake dies Draw a card But it has five mana So In draft that's not good Unless it's a commander OP uh, hunt the weak show of valor so I could use what is this this is a two drop so this could this could help me out with the uh, with the Sarah angel so when talking about draft this card takes more than 10% of of the cards that your your opponent holds and puts it into their graveyard uh, this this is just this is a no brainer. This is really a no brainer. Canyon Minotaur, Blightcaster, Wall of Swords. It's a defender. Eh. Eh. What was that? Okay, so Blightcaster was my first uh, uncommon. Wall of Swords was my second. My third air servant. Nice! Nice! Clone! The rare for this card is Clone. You may have Clone enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. I'm really excited. This is my first clone card. Awesome. So we have Forest. And we have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to. So I think um, these cards right here, these cards right here, you, you throw those away throw that away um if it's a foil land the foil land actually stays with the deck as you pass it to your left i i think i think that's what people say the the land the foil land stay with the deck and now i have some serious 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 uh questions right here you know because i have the sarah angel i got this deck we're just going to say I got this deck from from my right and I have to either build around Sarah Angel or I take this clone. That's that's I mean, a part of me wants to just take the clone, you know, when talking about drafting, I want to 
I should stay away from it. I should build around the Sarah Angel. So let's just take a quick look. So there's that. There's one white. There's a black. There's a red, blue, white, green. Is that in the picture? No, it's not in the picture. I have to move it in the picture. Uh, there's another that. Uh, black, red, green. Okay, so two red, three green, two black, two white, and five blue. So when talking about drafting, I should I should take one of these cards, the Wall of Swords uh, and Show of Valor. Because this is a this is a two drop, uh, and one of those two have to be a planes. So it would only make sense to take this one, right? The show of valor, and add that to the Sarah Angel. But then you have you have the clone. Oh man. So yeah, I think that's what I would do. I would take the the show of valor. And everything else, everything else goes to the left. So you shuffle it, and they have this. Um, they have a term in Magic. It's called uh, blocking, I think, or trapping. I forget. There's like a term in Magic where, if I know the, if I know someone's building a blue deck. Uh, what I can do is I could take the clone and that would prevent and then put this one back in the deck. And uh, what would happen is that would prevent that card from going to my opponent, you know, so that's just one less. Uh, and they call these bombs. They're called bombs, you know, and where I'm from, bomb means uh, bad. But in magic, bomb means uh, it means good. It means that this is a card that single-handedly will win me the game like this this goes into the battlefield and i just win the game right then and there you know um and same can be said with clone so there's a whole bunch of options whole bunch of options you could do So we're going to do that. We're going to take uh, the Show of Valor. And Sarah. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sarah Angel. So this comes from the right. So um, the thing with drafting is once you go to the shop, the card shop, uh, you register, I guess, and it's, from what I've heard, it's right around like $10 to $15, and at the end, at the end of uh, whether you win or you lose or whatever, uh, well, regardless if you lose, you keep the cards. So that's why I was saying that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, some people only just take the the rares, you know, so some people like to look at this as like um, they could sell the card on like eBay or whatever. So there's people that just just take the rares. They don't they don't build a deck to to try to win. <laughs> they build the deck so they can make a profit out of it. So and, you know, it's always cool. Like. I've never had a, a clone before, so if I saw that, I'd really be at like a crossroads. <laughs> I'd be like, oh man, there's this show of valor. I could pump up my my commander and I don't I you know what? I don't know if that's the, the correct term, uh commander when talking about drafting. But anyways, we have the Blood Baron. That doesn't help us out because we're going for white. We have smelt right here. destroy target artifact negate I've been seeing a lot of good blue cards huh. 
Hunt the weak. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Demolish. Mark of the Vampire. What is that? That's a four drop. Celestial Flare. Target player sacrifices an, an attacking or blocking creature. That's a nice little two drop right there. Advocate of the Beast. It's not a bad three drop right there. Train Condor. Blur Sliver. I'm all about my slivers, man. Slivers are so cool. Banisher Priest. Woodborne Behemoth. As long as you control eight or more lands, Woodborne Behemoth gets plus four, plus four, and has Trample. Wow. So I could also build a deck off out of this, you know. Bramble Crush. And our rare is Jace. Jace's Mind Seeker. It's a creature. Fish Illusion. Not bad. Six drop. That's bad though. It has flying. When Jace's Mind Seeker enters the battlefield, target player puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from among them without paying its mana cost. Okay, that changed my mind. <laughs> that is a definitely, that's definitely an awesome card right there. Swamp and that. So these are the two cards that we have. Two white cards. So we have that. And we have that. So we have that. We have that. So I think this is a good way to practice. Practice drafting. But I don't know. Because in reality... Uh, by the time this deck got to me, all the good cards would have been taken out. So I don't know if this is a good i a good way to to practice drafting. So we have three reds in this deck. We have two white. Four bramble, uh, <laughs> I read the card. Four green cards, three blue, two black. And I would look at this white right here. These white cards. So after looking at Banisher Priest, when Banisher Priest enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until Banisher Priest leaves the battlefield. And then we have Celestial Flare. Target player sacrifices an attacking or blocking creature. I would probably go with Celestial Flare because there's a good chance that uh, Banisher Priest would die. Um, and the reason I'm saying that like, if if I go up against like a red a red deck, a red deck would just destroy this, you know, with very low mana cost. Um, to use that card to destroy this one. So the good thing is uh, I bring this onto the battlefield. I exile I exile a creature card. We're going to try to find a creature. We exile this one. So this is now out of play. As soon as this one, as soon as the Banisher Priest dies... This card that I exiled comes back into play. So I don't think this is a good card. I'd probably go with Celestial Flare. 
And out of the draft, we have these three cards that I've chosen. Which, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I have two two drops right here. And I have the card that I'm going to build around that has a five drop. So what I was looking for were one drops. A lot of one drops. And uh, this is actually my only creature. So I would have to start looking for creature cards too. So I don't know. Is this the route that you guys would have gone? I don't know. Let me know. But thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to stay tuned for future episodes. I'll definitely see you guys later.